Indra Nui by Mary Nin, pictures by Yulia Zolotova. Hi, I'm Indra Nui. Growing up, I played a guitar in a rock band and had big dreams for a girl in India. At the time, I was considered strange. I was driven and received college degrees in physics, chemistry and mathematics. I wanted to study at Yale School of Management in the United States. But at, but at first, my mum didn't want me to go. My parents have always, support, always supported me and eventually, Eventually, they allowed me to move to America to study. I grew up in a Hindu household with a mother who said, I'll arrange a marriage for you at 18. But she also said that we could achieve anything we put our minds to and encouraged us to dream of becoming prime minister or president. After graduating, I worked in business giving advice to companies. I joined a company called PepsiCo and I worked my way up to a CEO. I already had made lots of great decisions by then, but as as CEO, I wanted to f- make a big change. I wanted to focus on healthier foods My new strategy performance with a purpose grouped our products into three categories. Fun for you, such as potato chips and regular soda. Better for you, such as diet or low fat. Snacks or sodas and sodas. And good for you, such as oatmeal. I purposely moved away from junk foods and into healthier food alternatives with an aim of improving the healthiness of even the fun offerings. In 2015, I removed aspartame and artificial sweetener from Diet Pepsi furthering the shift towards healthier foods i bought me i bought this brought to me a lot of criticism people thought i was being soft and that my vision for a better future would lose the company a lot of money i had to stay strong while i waited to see if my Decision would pay off. Many people questioned my leadership, particularly because I was a woman. In fact, I almost lost my job. I wasn't worried. I knew in my heart this was a good decision. As part of the performance with a purpose... I also focused on environmental concerns and sustainability. Reducing packaging to reduce waste, conservative water, switching to renewable energy sources and recycling. Finally, the results came in and there was the profit to prove that I had been right. After that, I was named one of the best CEOs in the world and the most powerful woman in business. I've shown people not to underestimate me And I've sent a message to all the women to trust in themselves and take the path that's right for them, no matter what others say. To be a CEO is calling 
Your heart has got to be in the job. You've got to love what you do. Timeline, 2006. Indra becomes CEO of PepsiCo. 2007. A CEO, Indra, gives a PepsiCo a new direction. 2012. Indra risks losing... Indra risks losing her job, losing job as PepsiCo doubts her. 2017. Indra is rank, is ranking, is ranked among the, the world's 100 most powerful women for the ninth year running. 2018. Indra is named one of the best CEOs, CEOs in the world.